So today we're going to go over a few things uh, related to the mule knot, right? Whether it's muling the munter, whether it's muling a carabiner, or also known as a slip hitch. We're going to go over those scenarios, how to do it, what the difference is, and how it's done incorrectly. So let's check it out. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to bring it through, uh, of course lock the carabiner. Now I have two strands here. I have the strand that's going to the anchor, and then I have what we can call the brake strand. Right? This is the strand that's going to the anchor and the, the brake strand here, or the exit strand. Now for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure first that I'm going to create a loop. I'm going to create a loop. Now when I create this loop here, I'm not going to create the loop on the inside. Right? If I do that on the inside and I bring the bite through, now you notice that it's only capturing one strand here, just one strand. What I want to do is make sure that I capture, I want to capture both strands, okay? So that means when I bring the bite through the loop, I capture one, two strands. Okay, so once again, I'm going to bring up the client, so lean back, and that kind of a live scenario here, with all your weight, I'm going to start leaning back. Now I have to capture the client, I'm just going to bring it over, both, and then through, and then here the client's going to feel a little pull. You tighten that up like so. Now with this, you don't need to, you're not going to tie it off, of course, right? Because this is going to be used. So when you go to the top in a six to one drop loop scenario, that when this pulls on the top, like this, when that pulls and then you could haul the client. Okay, you can haul the client, right? So that's called a slip hitch or muling the carabiner. The reason it's called muling the carabiner is because basically it's a mule knot without a finish, meaning a half hitch or an overhand. But let's go to a scenario where you're doing a mainline haul or a single strand down and you want to actually do a mule and you want to finish it off with a knot, right? Because you don't want this to move when you're hauling the person. So how do we do that? It's the same process, you know, I'll start from the beginning again. We're going to come down here, client has a carabiner on, rope goes through the carabiner, lock that carabiner, lean back a little, just take two steps back, actually, just one step back. There you go. So now what I want to do is I'm going to do the same process here. I'm going to make a loop. Now let's say it's on the other side. Let's, because this is my easy way to make it. Let's say it's on this side. The main point of the loop is you always want to have the exit strand on the outside. That's the main point of this. The exit strand goes on the outside because then you're capturing both strands. Exit strand on the outside, the bite, you take a bite of rope, that bite goes through like so, and the client's going to feel a slight tug. Okay, so that's step one. Right? I'm going to take some slack. Now I, have to, now I have to tie this off. Okay, so I have some slack here. Now I want to tie it off. So the process I'm going to go through, I can do two things here. I can tie it off with a half hitch or I can tie it off with an overhand. So we're going to do the half hitch first and we'll do the overhand second. So a half hitch, first notice I'm taking both strands. I'm doing a half hitch, I'm just bringing it right down and back through. So that is, that is a half hitch tie off right there. I'm going to bring it into the carabiner and close it off. Okay? So now I could haul this strand up. If this were a mainline rescue, meaning one strand down, there would be a three to one on the top or hypothetically a five to one or a seven to one with a double mariner. But this would be a mainline haul. Okay? Now I'm going to do it again just to show you the overhand finish. The same process here. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to make the loop. Make sure the loop is on the outside, not the inside. I'm going to make the loop on the outside. I'm going to take a bite on the other side. Take a bite of rope, bring it through that loop I just made like so. Bring it through the loop I just made and then cinch it down to the client. Okay? So this is the beginning. Right? This is step one. Now step two, what I have to do here is I have to finish it off. Okay? So I'm going to make an overhand finish. I'm going to take a little bit more slack out. Make the overhand finish here, just an overhand knot, as you all know. Like so. I take again this bite here that I have and I bring it into the carabiner and lock that. Um, and that is definitely a very bomb proof way to do it. So this again would be for a mainline haul or a single strand haul where the carabiner, where the client's getting pulled up and where nothing is popping. It's not a slip hitch meeting. I'm not on a six to one drop loop and hoping that will pop. So now let's go over some incorrect ways that it's tied. So basically, and we'll go over the same scenario again. This is going to be a scenario um, in which you're doing a mainline haul. So you want this to be isolated, meaning you don't want it to move. So 
So. So what I often, what I see sometimes is I'll see just the slip knot done, meaning no twist at all, I just put a bite through, okay? So this is, this is the slip knot here, and this, this gives slack, right? So that is, that is not correct, okay? So that's one. And the second way that it's often done incorrectly is, as I said, the loop is on the inside, so then you're only going around one strand. Now that's the other incorrect way it's often done. Or we do the slip hitch really high in the case of the sixth one. And it's here, and then what happens is the client goes all this distance down. Yeah, so when you mule it, you wanna make sure you do the slip hitch that it's against the carabiner. Just make sure when you're tying this, whether you're doing the half hitch finish, which as we said, this is the half hitch finish, whether you're doing the half hitch or whether you're doing the overhand, the overhand finish as well. Make sure that this finish stays against the carabiner, or as close to the carabiner as you can get. And I bring this back around, slide this right into the carabiner, lock it all up, and that's, that's bomb proof. All right, so I hope you learned something today. Until next time, as we say in Iceland. Shangalauban. Shangalauban. <laughs>